Adding the ability to view another one of my sensors is relatively easy. Uh, it takes a few minor changes. First, I'm going to add another parameter to my template and I'll separate it using a comma. So byte and then write detector. Down here I have to add a, a couple more lines of code. I'm going to say serial dot print line analog read write detector. The top line here no longer needs an LN at the end of the print statement because I don't want it to print on a new line. I want these two numbers to print on the same line. I'm going to add a piece of code in between them because I want a, a tab's worth of space to appear between them. I'm going to print an invisible tab character. I have to do one more thing. Whoops, this should be write detector. I have to define which pin is the write detector in the main part of the program. And now, if I upload my code, and press the button, I should see two numbers appear. The front one, or the first number is the front detector. When I put my hand in front of it, that number goes down. The second number is the right detector. When I put my hand in front of that one, its number goes down. Right now, the front detector is pointed more directly towards the light in this room than the right detector is. But if I turn my robot so that the right detector is pointed towards the light, you will see its number goes up and the front detector's number goes down. I will leave it to you as a challenge to add the left detector to this so that we have three rows of numbers constantly printing. The, the leftmost row would be, or the leftmost column would be the left detector. The center column would be the front detector. And the right hand column would be the right detector. Good luck.